Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I want to do a special show because I have some things of the legal nature that I want to cover with you today. First and foremost, uh, Dave Wallace, the president of Heritage Bank, called me and said he was getting deluged with phone calls when I ripped Heritage Bank for letting some worker at Heritage Bank dog me. Well, it turns out that that guy worked at the Heritage Bank Center but he's not connected at all whatsoever with Heritage Bank. So I apologize to Dave, took down that video, and I also told Dave that I would do a special a segment uh, just saying that, by the way, I bank at Heritage Bank, Dave Walls and Heritage Bank is great. It just pissed me off that somebody I thought was at Heritage Bank was dogging me. Uh, Campbell County Republican Party, happy to report that just like in Boone County, the good guys, the freedom lovers, took over the Campbell County Republican Party. And they would have taken over the Kenton County Republican Party, but for the shenanigans. But that's for another day. Uh, Goldman Sachs, there was a decision by the Supreme Court yesterday, United States Supreme Court, shareholder lawsuit against Goldman Sachs, the biggest investment house in the world, uh, where this is what the accusation was. Well, they, they actually said the standard for fraud uh, has to be increased. Get this. An issue was an investor lawsuit filed in 2011 that alleged Goldman artificially inflated its share price before and during the 2007-2009 financial crisis. This is a problem with the court system in this country. 2011, it's now 2021, and they've gone up to Sixth Circuit, Supreme Court, up and down, up and down, trying to get their justice, and this is what's going on. Paulson a investment house made one billion at investors' expense. Goldman agreed to pay 550 million in an SEC settlement. But that's the, that's a problem with law in this day and age. Uh, I forgot three people that I wanted to mention. Lawyers that ought to shock you: Robert Poole, human trafficking. Somebody told me he was still in court two weeks ago. The guy's been indicted in Boone County and Campbell County, waiting trial, and apparently he's still practicing law in Kentucky. Uh, Clyde Bennett. I actually like Clyde Bennett. But the guy's been nailed twice. The last one, the first one was kind of BS. The second one was really serious, completely lying. He's been suspended two times for serious offenses. And I support Clyde. I like Clyde. I consider Clyde a friend. But he's back. Twice. I've never done anything like Clyde Bennett did. I love you, Clyde. Uh, Larry Lawrence. Larry Lawrence, the owner of Racers, complete tax fraud, went to jail for a year and a half. I once was friends with Larry. I, I tried to help the guy out even. I think he's been out four years and gotten his Kentucky law license back. Think about that. Robert Pohl, Clyde, Larry Lawrence. I've never done anything close to what they did. Uh, Kentucky Supreme Court, you're going to love this. Uh, I, need to, I need to post this. But I have filed a motion to reconsider solely to make the record where I literally blow them up. I will guarantee you in this uh, five pages, no one has told off the Kentucky Supreme Court like I tell them off. All based upon facts and truth. Another thing I want to just share with you on this law segment before I go. They always bring this stuff about frivolous lawsuits. Do you know that there's something in the freaking law that's called you are allowed to bring a cause of action to change the law, extend the law, modify the law in good faith? You're allowed to do that. The only person who isn't allowed to do that is me. So when I challenge the immunity, now just think about this. Should a lawyer be able to defame and perjure himself, another lawyer, and it has immunity because it's in the discipline process? That's total bullshit, right? Any normal American would say that's bullshit, but not the bar. So when I file lawsuits to try to change things and correct problems, oh, well, that's frivolous. No, it's not frivolous. I've never filed a frivolous lawsuit in my freaking life. It cracks me up the way the bar handles these things. Well, that's it for my special law segment. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. If you have a legal problem, contact Dieter's Law.